Hello friends, my name is Sunil Ranjan and I am an English faculty member. Now here I am giving you the summary of the story, The Vertical Ladder by William Sanson. So here I begin, first I will tell you about this story. Well, this is the story of a group of friends, three boys and two girls who move to an old storage gas tower. When one of the boys, Fleg, is challenged by a girl and taunted by a group of other young boys that he cannot climb as high as he throws a brick, he attempts to climb up a vertical ladder and reach the top of the gas tower. As he does so, he experiences various frightening and changing emotions and feelings, from foolish boldness to sheer terror and terrible and alarming isolation. A group of three boys and two girls who are friends walk out of the back gate of a public park and wander around a high and abandoned rusty iron gas tower. They all start throwing bricks at the tower. Fleg tries to show them that he can throw his bricks higher than others. He says that he knows something about throwing grenades. When one of the girls shouts that he cannot climb as high as he can throw, he takes up her sarcastic tone immediately and accepts the challenge. The position taken by him comes to him as a deep psychological pressure from which he cannot go back gracefully without losing face. There are two boys, there are two ways of climbing the gas tower. One is a Jacob's ladder bolted flat against the side of the tower and the other a zigzag staircase with a safety railing. Fleg moves towards the safer stair, but the boys call him a coward and insist that he climb the vertical ladder. The vertical ladder looks solid, but some 20 feet of the lower stairs are missing. A wooden ladder is propped up against the vertical ladder to make it accessible. One girl encourages and admires his boldness and gives him her handkerchief to plant at the top of the tower like a banner. Flake starts climbing excitedly and almost runs up the wooden ladder but slows down when he reaches the vertical climb. Thin pieces of rust begin to drop over his face. He finds that he cannot get his hand long enough to brush them off. He shakes his head to get them off, but while doing so, he begins to feel dizzy. He gets frightened. He has already climbed about 50 feet, but is still far from the top. He is in constant fear of falling. Everything around him seems unusually large. His friends below also get frightened and confused. The girl who had challenged him screams. Other friends blame her for having created such a situation. When Fleg looks down for a second, he sees the wooden ladder lying flat on the ground. Not only is he in constant fear of falling, but also everything around him seems unusually large, while he and his companions on the ground appear very small. He struggles to control his fear and focuses his attention on one rung at a time and creeps upward. When he reaches the last rung of the ladder, he finds he is still five feet away from the top of the gas tower. There is constant excitement, suspense and confusion running through the story. Flake's view of the gas tower still away from him seems more frightening than the ground below. The boy makes small weeping sounds through his mouth. Despite all big talk of adventure, the boy faces the harsh and challenging reality up on the last rung of the ladder. So here I come to the end of the story with comments. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you friends. If you haven't and if you choose to subscribe, I promise that I will be coming up with quality videos for you from time to time. Thank you.